Right now, shutdown avoided. What lawmakers are saying after the, the down to the wire vote last night. We have the details. Also, a Madison area group hosting a bike drive for kids yesterday. A community member stepped up to help out. And warm weather continuing until Tuesday with a chance of rain on Wednesday. Jake will track out the forecast ahead for your week. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Pazorski. We're going to take a look outside this morning with Jacob Montesano. Jacob, how are you doing on this nice Sunday morning? Well, I'm doing very nice. I mentioned yesterday how I didn't like the warm temperatures, but I have to be honest, the temperatures right now during the morning hours, very, very nice. And looking outside at the state capitol, pretty clear skies, a few clouds, but for the most part, we aren't expected to see a ton of cloud cover today. Current temperature 65 degrees. The average low this time of year is around 50, and this is typically the time of the day that we see the low temperature. So very mild conditions this morning, and they will continue throughout the day. Now looking at the current radar, everything you're seeing right here is likely just feedback, not actual rainfall. So Ignore, just ignore that for a moment. Uh, it's kind of unfixable, but in general, we are seeing very uh, clear skies across all of Wisconsin with some rain in the far northeastern portion of the state. As we go throughout the day, we are going to continue to see clear skies, maybe a few clouds here and there, but in general, expect to see very similar conditions to what we saw yesterday as temperatures will rise into the 80s. But looking at the current temperatures, we are seeing 70s at this hour. Uh, happy October, by the way. It's the 1st of October. We normally don't see 70s at this hour in October, but 71 at the Dells, 72 in La Crosse, 72 in Winona, and even if you're not in the 70s, you are likely in the 60s. We also are going to see those temperatures rise into the 80s. Like I mentioned, sunshine for Madison, also seeing a lot of sunshine for La Crosse today, but I'll talk more in detail about how long it will last and track our next chance of rain coming up a bit later. 70s and 80s, nice welcome to October. Thank you, Jacob. A down-to-the-wire deal in Washington will keep the federal government open, at least temporarily. A stopgap bill passed by both the House and Senate with bipartisan support was signed late last night by President Biden. Bradley Blackburn has more on how the deal came together. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. A government shutdown that seemed all but certain was narrowly avoided Saturday. A bipartisan federal spending plan will keep the government funded at current levels for 45 days. It's been a day full of twists and turns, but the American people can breathe a sigh of relief. There will be no government shutdown. President Biden signed the bill just before a midnight deadline when federal agencies could have been forced to close and critical employees and members of the military asked to work without pay. We went from devastating cuts that would have impacted the health, the safety, and the economic well-being of the American people in 24 hours to a spending agreement that meets the needs of the American people. On the House to reach board, a deal, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy yes, turned to Democrats after he couldn't secure support from hard-right members of his own party. But the funding fight will now continue. I ask Congress will stay in session the next two weeks, continue to work to get this done. The plan does not include additional aid to Ukraine, a priority for the White House that growing numbers of GOP lawmakers oppose. I'm confident the Senate will pass further urgent assistance to Ukraine later this year. The deal funds the government until November 17th. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. In a statement, President Biden said the deal is good news for the American people, but he urged Congress to approve additional support for Ukraine. Happening today, hundreds of walkers will show their support to end Alzheimer's in Madison. The walk to end Alzheimer's opens at 830, but the walk doesn't start until 1, uh, 1015, rather. So you still have time to get out there and participate. It's all happening at Warner Park in Madison. Their goal is to raise funds to support the care and research efforts of the Alzheimer's Association. Wisconsin First Lady Kathy Evers, as well as sportscaster Craig Kashan, will be among those in attendance. Free Bikes for Kids hosted their first bike donation drive of the season on Saturday, all in an effort to get more bikes and keep Madison kids riding. Yesterday's donation drive collected bikes with plans to refurbish them during the winter. In the spring, they are donated to families who don't always have the opportunity to own and enjoy all the benefits of a bicycle. The goal was to collect 400 donated bikes, allowing all sizes and styles to be accepted. Organizers say it's all about making sure the kids are able to get out and have some fun.
We're so excited to see these beautiful high-end bikes coming in because our recipients, they rely on these bikes for their transportation. And um, so, so it's really awesome to see. Free Bikes for Kids is hosting another donation drive on Saturday, November 4th, if you're looking to give back to the community. If you can't make it then, just head to their website, which is fb4kmadison.org to find more ways to help out. What is more Wisconsin than cheese? On Saturday, people gathered in Madison for Cheese Fair Off the Square. As part of the Art and Cheese Art of Cheese Festival, Wisconsin Knights were able to purchase and bask in a vast outdoor market of cheese with sellers from around the state offering up award-winning cheese. It's really important to us that consumers from all across the globe know that Wisconsin truly is the state of cheese. 90% of Wisconsin milk goes to making cheese, so it is a huge industry for us and for the state and for the farm families here. The state of Wisconsin makes half the nation's specialty cheese. Looking ahead now, this Wednesday, FEMA and the FCC will be conducting a nationwide emergency alert test. It will take place around 1.20 p.m. All cell phones will receive an alert, as well as radio and TV stations will push out a similar one. They say this is done to make sure their systems continue to be effective means of warning the public about emergencies. The backup test date is October 11th. United Auto Workers President Sean Fain joined striking workers on the picket line in Toledo, Ohio yesterday. On Friday, the union expanded its strike against the big three automakers by earning 7,000 more workers off the job in Illinois and Michigan. The local union in Toledo was the first group of workers who walked off the job two weeks ago. The union is demanding more pay and benefits from General Motors, Ford and Stellantis. Fain told workers he is escalating the strikes because Ford and GM refused to make meaningful progress in contract talks. A deadly crash occurred in the south central part of Illinois involving a semi truck carrying ammonia. At least five people died in the multi vehicle crash. Several other people suffered injuries. Authorities say the truck was carrying about 7,500 gallons of ammonia. About 4,000 of those gallons leaked. The spill forced about 500 people in the area to evacuate their homes. Officials say there is no time period for when residents will be able to return. This accident caused a large uh, plume cloud of anhydrous ammonia on the roadway. Um, that caused uh, terribly dangerous air conditions uh, in the northeast area to topless were evacuated because of it. State environmental workers say the gas leak is partially patched and they are monitoring conditions. The cause of the crash is under investigation. The Midwest experienced some unseasonably warm temperatures yesterday. In Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, some festival goers had to even take refuge from the heat. WCCO's Jason Ratala reports. Just when you thought the dog days of summer were behind us, it's a little hot. comes a day like today. And now it's really warm and humid. <laughs> At Twin Cities Harvest Festival in May. It's very weird. You know, you can just feel the heavy air. Uh, you know, for no reason you're sweating. A rare late September day with July-like temperatures. Festival goers took refuge in shaded areas. It's a little cooler under the shade. And shaded corn pits. It feels good in the shade. They chilled, or tried to at least, with cool drinks like lemonade. So probably we'll sell a lot of those today. It's different, but yeah, it's fun. It doesn't feel like a fall event though, that's for sure. Some wish the weather matched the festivities. Well, I really, really want sweaters and hoodies and hot cocoa and hot cider, but that's not happening today. The corn maze is always a hit with us, but it's kind of hot in there. We're ready for the cooler weather. But those here today are well aware what season comes next. Enjoy the day. We're going to have snow before we know it. It's Minnesota weather for you. In Brooklyn Park, Jason Rantala, WCCO News. It certainly was hotter than normal yesterday. Overseas, Pope Francis on Saturday further cemented his legacy, elevating 21 prelates to the higher rank of cardinal and significantly raising the percentage of electors chosen by him who will have the right to vote for his successor. At a ceremony in, Pete, in St. Peter's Square, Francis created 21 new cardinals known as the red-hatted princes of the church who are his closest advisors at the Vatican and around the world. 18 of the 21 are under the age of 80 and thus eligible under church law to enter a secret conclave to elect the next pope after Francis' death or resignation. There are now 137 cardinal electors, about 73% of them chosen by Francis. 
Over the last seven days, more than a hundred Red River dolphins have been found dead in Lake Tefe in the Brazilian Amazon. That's according to a research institute in the region. Officials believe a historic drought in the Amazon combined with record high lake temperatures may have caused the deaths. Authorities expect even more acute droughts over the next couple of weeks, which may result in even further deaths of the dolphins. Still ahead, a new health conversation about the coming cold and flu season. And let's take another live look outside. Jacob has your full forecast just ahead on Weekend Mornings. Call for action only on News 3 Now. The fresh timer starts the minute a tomato gets picked. That's why at Pick and Save, we shorten the time from harvest to home. So no matter how you shop, you'll have more time to enjoy your fresh produce. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original windows. Boom. There's no need to be afraid of old windows. Feldco's got you covered this fall with 40% off windows and 40% off roofing. Plus, no interest for one year. 40% off windows and roofing won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. My name is Josh Sanabria, and I'm the owner at Isla Veterinary Boutique Hospital. I was five, six years of age, and I knew I was going to be a vet. Once Alexandra called me to let me know that Bank of America had approved my loan, it was important to me. We not only just provide the financing piece, we do everything that we can to surround them with the right people. All you need is a perfect, amazing team that will guide you through the right steps to be successful, and that's what Bank of America was for me. Just look at them. State-of-the-art Honda hybrids, making ecological art out of any conditions they encounter. Rugged, dependable, stylish performance with fuel efficiency and low emissions that'll make a tree hugger blush. What's this phenomenon you're witnessing? It's the future today. Electrified driving built for Wisconsin. Get your Honda hybrid now at your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer. Honda gets Wisconsin. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Thanks to Sky Rizzy, I'm on my way with clearer skin. Three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Nothing on my skin means everything. Ask your dermatologist about Sky Rizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. At Pick and Save, everyone wins when it comes to savings because you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards on pickup or delivery as you do in store. So no matter how you shop, everyone saves big. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Here are the three things you need to know to get you ready for your Sunday and the upcoming work week. We are going to remain warm through Tuesday with highs in the lower 80s, and we also are going to remain dry through Tuesday. Now, our next chance of rain will be on Wednesday, and after Wednesday, temperatures will slowly fall, and then by the time we get to the weekend, we are expected to see some pretty chilly temperatures. Looking at the forecast for today, though, we are going to be well above average. Plenty of sunshine and pretty much the entire area will see high temperatures in the lower 80s. As we head into the overnight hours, more mild lows with lows right around 60. There aren't going to be many parts of the area that get into the upper 50s. So during the morning hours tomorrow, it's going to be pretty comfortable. And then as we get into the afternoon tomorrow, we are going to see more warm temperatures and plenty of sunshine. Now looking at the six to 10 day temperature outlook, as I touched on a moment ago, we are expected to see colder temperatures and this includes not just all of Wisconsin, but the Great Lakes region, really all of the central United States. We, you have to go pretty far west in order to see those above average temperatures for the next six to 10 days. So we are gonna see a big shift in the pattern after Tuesday. Now taking a look at future cast, we are going to see that chance of rain on Wednesday. But as I mentioned, mostly sunny skies today and tomorrow. Now by the time we get to Tuesday, we are going to see a little bit of cloud cover and look off to the west. So we have that system and that's going to be what's 
going to bring the rain to really all of Wisconsin. So as we get into Wednesday afternoon, that will be the best chance of rain. But in general, it's not expected to last very long. And it is possible that northern portions of the state won't see that much rain on Wednesday. But then as we get into Thursday, we'll have a secondary system move through mainly the northern portion of the state and bring some showers to you to you folks near La Crosse and Eau Claire. But Wisconsin or southern Wisconsin uh, still expect to see that rain Thursday, possibly into Friday as well. And it looks like we will dry out for the weekend. But in general, we really aren't expected to see a whole lot of rain, only about a half inch to maybe a full inch of rainfall. Uh, even that is kind of a little bit of an overestimate, I believe. So in general, we are going to see that rainfall, but we aren't expected to see all that much. So here's the seven day forecast for lacrosse 80s through Tuesday, 70s Wednesday, 60s Thursday, Friday, 50s for Saturday and Sunday. We are looking to be dry after Friday, but uh, it's also going to be a bit breezy, so conditions may even feel it a bit cooler than what they actually are. For Madison, pretty similar, although we are going to be just ever so slightly cooler the next couple of days. Probably not going to get into the middle 80s. Going to stay in the lower 80s, and then we'll see 70s for Wednesday, 60s Thursday and Friday once again, and 50s for the weekends. Now, for those of you in La Crosse, you could see some storms Tuesday night, but in general, much of Wisconsin will see the storms Wednesday and some rain on Thursday. Jacob, thank you. In this morning's health conversation, our Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Rupa Shaw to talk about ways to stay healthy this cold and flu season. Well, cold and flu season has officially arrived. SSM Health family medicine physician and wellness coach Dr. Rupa Shaw is here to talk about how you can keep yourself and your family protected this year. So Dr. Shaw, what are some of the most common upper respiratory illnesses that occur this time of year? I mean, obviously flu season is big, but that's yeah. not the only one people are dealing with. Right, we're gonna see a lot of just what we call the common cold virus, uh, things like adenovirus, rhinovirus. You're not gonna know exactly which one you have, but you're gonna know, cause you're gonna get the runny nose, mm -hmm. the congestion, um, maybe a little mild cough. Um, so that's really common. But then of course you have the flu. Now with the flu, you're gonna feel a little bit ill. Yeah. You're gonna have fever, the body aches, the, the chills, um, the cough. You may have some, you know, diarrhea. So you're gonna feel a little bit more ill with the flu and that's kind of how you know that it's not just maybe a common cold virus. Sure. Um, there is obviously a lot of overlap with COVID-19 mm -hmm. and the flu. That makes it difficult. Lots of overlap with symptoms, fever, chills, body aches. Of course, with COVID, you may lose your sense of smell or taste. That could help differentiate it. Right. But with both, you can get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So the best thing is to kind of get tested and, and see which one you sure, have. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. you, you know, just trying to be aware of what you have, how contagious those things are. Yeah, it's yep. it's, it's tough this time of year when all those things all are All of these things are gonna converge all together. We're gonna right. have RSV also in the mix. Right. So there's just gonna be a hodgepodge of different yeah, respiratory viruses. Proactive for sure. So yeah. Dr. Shaw, what should people do to stay healthy or protect against flu this year? You know, I mean, flu shots are a big reason, but yeah. what else can people do? Yeah, so this might be one time a year, again, where we might wanna pull out your masks for a little bit, mm. especially if you're gonna be in, um, an environment with lots of people indoors and closed. You know, if you really do want to protect yourself, there's going to be a lot of viruses. You may want to wear a mask. Um, good hand washing, of yeah. course, as always, right? right? Um, and if you're sick, stay home. Don't expose other people. If you're not feeling well, you're under the weather, your throat is starting to get scratchy, this is a time you could be most infectious. Stay home from work or school um, so as to not infect everybody yeah. else around you. And definitely, like you mentioned, get your flu shot. Yeah, and yeah. just because it's COVID, doesn't mean it's not contagious, you know? I mean, those right. other things spread as well. Oh, absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. Now, speaking of the flu shot, who should get it and when? Yes, so anybody over the age of six months, um, and if you don't have an allergy to the flu shot itself, get the flu shot. Okay. Um, it, builds, uh, it takes about two weeks to build that immunity, so try and plan ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Usually we'll start seeing flu peak around uh, January, February, but we'll start seeing cases in November, mm -hmm. so you kind of want to plan ahead. Um, so now is probably about the best time sure. to get that. Also, try and get the uh, COVID booster um, as well. That's going to be really protective as well. And can you get well, them so. at the same time? Um, you can, yeah. yes, you definitely can. Uh, if you're up for that, yeah. <laughs> um, you're going to probably have, uh, you know, you could have a few side effects from the vaccine itself, sure. but you could just get it over with all yeah. in one day as well. So, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. Where else can you're people welcome. find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right. Thank you as always.
Come up next on Weekend Mornings, Jake will check in with another look at your Sunday forecast, plus Saturday's news and sports. Stick with us. Look, Mom, I found one. Oh, yeah, you did, but we need an ATM from our bank, unless you want to spend a small fortune in fees. <laughs> no, thank you. Banking with BMO means more fee-free ATMs than the two largest U.S. banks combined, including places like pharmacies and grocery stores. Saving money and more convenient. <laughs> Look at you being so helpful. What'd you expect? You're standing at a help stop. That's you. <laughs> that's me, at a desk. When a bank helps you get and stay ahead, that's the BMO effect. Meetings in 20. I'm fine, I'll follow the GPS. Turn left here. Oh, can't be. Proceed along the route. Are you certain? Turn right. Are you for imprint certain? Arrived. Certainty matters. Like the certainty of ordering items from the promotional product professionals at 4 Imprint. <laughs> Arrived. To show your appreciation to clients, coworkers, and customers, make your destination 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. We've got questions about Medicare plans. Well, we've got a lot of answers. How can I help? Well, for starters, do you have a Medicare plan I can actually afford? How about a plan with a $0 monthly premium? Well, that's a great start. What other benefits can we get? Things like dental, vision, and hearing. But let me help you pick the plan that's right for you. <laughs> Don't wait. Call 1-800-AETNA-FOR-YOU to get answers to your questions and pick a plan that's right for you. And let's make healthier happen together. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA, like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawontwait.com. Oftentimes, we've heard those ideas of what we cannot do. My thriving financial advisor gave me the tools to say I can, can, can. Thursday at 10. Artificial intelligence has entered the classroom. I saw it in poems and in stories, and I thought, oh, I know that human, and that's not their human thoughts. I'll show you what teachers are doing to curb AI misuse, and how a change in thinking could turn this tool into a valuable part of classroom learning. I think there's possibility, and we don't just have to be on the defense. Outsmarting AI, an eye on education report. Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. Let's check out our weather photo of the day. This one showing the sky in Verona. This was sent in by Tyler Boy, so thank you, Tyler. And if you'd like to submit your own photos, you can through the app or email us at firstwarn at wisctv.com. So as I mentioned, we are going to be dry the next couple of days, but we are going to see that chance of rain begin on Wednesday. Now, for those of you in La Crosse, it will begin Tuesday night. and also looks to continue for Wednesday night, Thursday, and into Friday as well. But in general, we really aren't expected to see a ton of rainfall. And as I touched on earlier, we also are going to see those temperatures really drop by next weekend. So although it feels like summer right now, it definitely will feel much more like fall by the time we get to next weekend. For the fifth time in six years, the Brewers are headed to the postseason. But until last night, we didn't know exactly who they'd be playing in next week's three-game NL wildcard series. But now we have a better idea. The Cubs and the Reds were eliminated last night, meaning Milwaukee either hosts the Diamondbacks or the Marlins next week. Even if this game was meaningless, it was very exciting. Cubs led 6-0 in the first inning, but the crew scored five rapid runs. And then here in the bottom of the second inning, Carlos Santana hits a solo shot 
to tie it up at six. But Chicago would strike right back. Fourth inning, tied at six apiece, and Ian Happ sting one through the five and a half hole. That would give Chicago the lead. The Cubs would go on to win it 10 to six despite being eliminated. The crew will play game 162 today. What a week it's been in Wisconsin sports. Let's start with the Bucks, who shocked the NBA world on Wednesday when they traded for Damian Lillard, creating arguably the best duo in the NBA right there in Milwaukee. Yesterday, the Bucks held a welcome party for Damian Lillard, a scene that looked more like a championship parade. Lillard, who's one of the NBA's most electric offensive players, brings a running mate unlike any Giannis Antetokounmpo has had to this point. That's boosted the Bucks to the betting favorite for next year's NBA title. To the WEAC for some local football, where fourth-ranked UW-Whitewater opened their WEAC slate on the road against UW-Oshkosh yesterday. Whitewater rode a rigid rush game to a 23-0 halftime lead and never looked back. Tamir Thomas would rush for 117 yards as the Warhawks won 37-21. Elsewhere in the WEAC, Platteville, who are just outside the top 25 nationally, traveled to sixth-ranked UW River Falls. The Pioneers made it close. They trailed by just five points entering the fourth quarter, but River Falls came out on top. It was a brilliant day in the air for Platteville. The Stair brothers both had fantastic days, but the Falcons would win it 27-16. That's your morning sports fix. Have a fantastic day. We have a full hour news coming up at 7. We'll be right back here on Weekend Mornings. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes, everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. They said millions would lose their jobs and the economy would collapse. But this president refused to let that happen. Instead, he got to work, fixing supply chains, fighting corporate greed, passing laws to lower the cost of medicine, cut utility bills, and make us more energy independent. Today, inflation is down, unemployment the lowest in decades. There's more to do, but President Biden is getting results that matter. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. My name is Josh Sanabria, and I'm the owner at Isla Veterinary Boutique Hospital. I was five, six years of age, and I knew I was going to be a vet. Once Alexandra called me to let me know that Bank of America had approved my loan, it was important to me. We not only just provide the financing piece, we do everything that we can to surround them with the right people. All you need is a perfect, amazing team that will guide you through the right steps to be successful, and that's what Bank of America was for me. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine with Culipta? Remember the pain? Cancel plans? The worry? That was then. And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but Q-Lipta reduces attacks, making zero migraine days possible. It's the only pill of its kind that blocks CGRP and is approved to prevent migraine of any frequency to help give you that forget-you-get-migraine feeling. Don't take if allergic to Q-Lipta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Q-Lipta, the forget-you-get-migraine medicine. When our clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, yes! Everyone starts clapping because everyone is happy. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! <laughs> Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Right now, one of Madison's oldest child care centers got a huge upgrade. We show you their new location. Plus, no jackpot winner in last night's Powerball drawing. The staggering amount you could win is coming up. And Jacob is tracking the rest of your weekend with more warmth to start the week.
Good morning and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. It is 7 o'clock on this Sunday. Let's take it over to Jacob Montesano for your forecast today. Jacob, uh, happy October. Yeah, it's crazy that it's already October. Certainly doesn't feel like it, especially by the time we get to the afternoon. Looking outside at the state capitol, seeing a bit more brightness than we did 30 minutes ago, and for the most part, still seeing very clear skies. That is going to continue for much of the day, not just here in southern Wisconsin, but pretty much all of the state. Current temperature is 60 degrees. Looking at future cast, maybe a few clouds here and there, but we aren't expected to see any rainfall. So if you like the warm temperatures, definitely get out and enjoy them because because it is going to be very nice today for those of you that like the warmth. Now looking at the current temperatures, some parts of our area are in the 70s right now, which is very uncommon for this time of the morning in October, but 72 in the Dells, 71 in La Crosse, 70 in Winona, lower 60s in the southern portion of the state. Planning your day. All sunshine today. Highs will likely rise to the lower 80s in Madison. Wind going to max out at around 10 miles per hour. And then for La Crosse, also seeing plenty of sunshine. Temperatures will, temperatures will be a bit warmer with highs in the upper 80s. And the wind may be a little, little bit breezier, but in general, not expect to see too much wind. I'll talk more in detail about how long the heat will last and give you your next chance of rain. All coming up a little bit later. Jacob, thank you. One of Madison's oldest child care centers celebrated a big upgrade Saturday. Red Caboose Child Care Center officially opened their new space on Madison's east side, tripling the number of kids they'll be able to care for. But that new capacity still isn't anywhere near meeting Madison's child care needs. Brayden Ross has the details. Long time coming, yes, a decade in the making. One of Madison's oldest child care centers is brand new again. The building we had been in for the last 50 plus years um, is even older than that. So it was a very well-loved building, but uh, we've grown bigger than what it could do for us. In their new space on Madison's east side, the Red Caboose Child Care Center will be able to serve three times as many kids. Today can kind of celebrate that and celebrate this new opening, but I hope it also draws attention to the fact that that's not enough, that's not nearly enough. Right now, there are about 2,500 kids in Madison on a waiting list for child care. Expand that to Dane County, the number goes up to about 6,000. This new child care center will be able to knock 100 off that list, but what's left, still a lot of need. Almost every career decision that I have made, uh, I have always factored in child care. We do have child care deserts, even right here in the Madison area, and certainly they're worse right across the state of Wisconsin. State Senate Minority Leader Melissa Agard is a Red Caboose alum herself. I remember being dropped at Red Caboose when my parents were going to work and when they were students. Now she and her Democratic colleagues at the state capitol are fighting to preserve a pandemic era program that would put $365 million in funding towards supporting child care providers. Taking care of the workforce behind the workforce is vitally important. The Child Care Counts program was critical to keeping us afloat through the pandemic. Um, and it's going to really hurt our bottom line here uh, when it expires. Even with this new location, it's not just space that Red Caboose needs. We just can't find enough staff. We can't pay enough. If we, in order to pay more to attract more staff, we have to raise our tuition rates, and that puts child care out of reach for so many families that we as a nonprofit have been trying to reach since we started. We need public investment to be able to make like a thriving child care system. Um, so hopefully today can kind of elevate that and bring awareness to that need. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Without added funding, the Child Care Counts program will expire in January. The proposal that would keep the program going is still under consideration. Today, the Domestic Abuse Intervention Services, or DAYS, will be kicking off Domestic Violence Awareness Month with a rally on the steps of the Wisconsin State Capitol. They plan to gather on the King Street steps of the Capitol from noon to 1 p.m. Day staff and volunteers, as well as survivors, allies, and community leaders will be getting together to raise awareness of intimate partner violence and stand in support of survivors everywhere. Wisconsin State Senator Melissa Agard, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi, and Madison Mayor Satya Rose Conway are among the many speakers who will be in attendance. Also today, the Ride for Your Life is set to take place in Madison. It is being held in memory of the tragic death of Saren Langenkamp, as well as countless other cyclists and pedestrians killed by drivers. Bicyclists will ride five to six miles at a slow pace, and pedestrians will walk one mile through Madison to the steps of the Capitol. The ride staging begins at 2 p.m. at Brigham Park, and riders will depart at 2.30. The ride will end on the steps of the Capitol, with the rally ending at 4 p.m. 
UW Madison and the community went out and celebrated the second annual Harvest Fest on Saturday. It all took place at the Wingman Kitchen Gardens and puts a spotlight on cuisine of African American, Latin, and Native American culture. Several groups, including the UW Department of Plant and Agro Ecosystem Sciences, the Native American Center for Health and Professions, and Trade Roots, all participated in planting and harvesting the crops that are part of the event. To be able to share this with the community, we love being able to do that kind of community connection and to have our community partners who help grow the garden be able to speak with a public audience, to be able to share the food. All of the stuff that's coming out of this food truck over here was came from produce from the garden. The fest was all capped off with live performances from local artists and musicians. And Vegan Fest made its way back to Madison. The Free Community Festival celebrates a vegan lifestyle with food vendors, exhibits, speakers, and live music. The family-friendly fun event offered more than 50 exhibitors, all with different variations of baked goods, beverages, and delicious savory options. To have a space in Madison that is really lining up with uh, staying true to uh, animal welfare, um, to also working within the community and supporting the community, the agriculture community within, and people that are doing some fantastic stuff to tend to our land, to tend to our soil, and, and create some amazing, nourishing food. If you weren't able to attend this year's event and want to see more about what it has to offer, more information is on channel3000.com. The Badgers have a bye week this week, so no highlights this morning, but that doesn't stop the Wisconsin huddle. In this week's huddle, Zach Hanley sat down with offensive lineman Tanner Bordellini, talking about the benefits of a bye week at any point in the season. I think, uh, you know, at some point you just kind of need to take a step back, you know, mentally reset. Um, and I think it just gives it's a good opportunity to go back and look at what you did in the first few weeks, um, learn from the mistakes you may have made, uh, what, what you can do better, and you know, really use that going in for, uh, for the rest of these eight weeks we have left. You can join the fun. We tape the shows on Monday nights at the Buck and Honeys in Sun Prairie. This week's guest is quarterback Tanner Mordecai. News outside of the state now. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin is expected to make his season debut today against the Miami Dolphins. He had been inactive for the first few weeks of this season. If Hamlin gets into the game, it will be his first regular season action since going into cardiac arrest during a game against the Cincinnati Bengals last January. Doctors cleared Hamlin to resume football activities last April. He participated in team drills in June, competed in training camp in August, and played during the preseason. No one matched all six numbers in Saturday's Powerball drawing, so now the jackpot is estimated to jump to $1.04 billion. That will be the second largest jackpot this year, topped only by a $1.08 billion prize won on July 19th. The lottery says two tickets did match enough numbers to score winnings of two million and five tickets won one million. The next drawing will be tomorrow night. Hyundai and Kia is warning owners that certain cars can catch on fire and millions of student loan borrowers need to pay up. Christine Lazar explains all that in this Ion Consumer Report. Federal student loan payments are resuming in October after a more than three-year suspension during the pandemic. However, borrowers may qualify for lower monthly payments under the SAVE plan. Some may even have a zero payment, depending on how much they make and the size of their family. For the next 12 months, borrowers can also skip payments without facing the financial consequences of defaulting on their loans. Kia and Hyundai are recalling more than 3.3 million vehicles over potential fire risks. Federal regulators say Hyundai is recalling 13 different models from 2010 through 2015 because a brake fluid leak could spark a fire. Kia is recalling a dozen models from 2010 through 2019 due to a possible electrical short that can also ignite. And Pringles is joining forces with the Caviar Company to create new luxury snack kits. The crisps and caviar collection will feature Pringles sour cream and onion, original and barbecue flavors paired with white sturgeon caviar and smoked trout roe. Prices range from $49 to $140. That's your Eye on Consumer. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. Still ahead, how you can protect yourself from what's being called car, car hacking instead of car jacking. That's all next. And we're taking another live look outside. Jacob has a check of the forecast just ahead.
Chase, where do you two think you're going without your safety gear? You know how we feel about riding without your gear. Well, it's so nice out. We're only going for a short ride. <laughs> Maybe we should listen to them more often. I told you so. And be home on time for dinner! Are you sweating over high energy bills? Windows drafty or broken? Champion is here to help. With our 70th anniversary sale, buy two windows, get two free. At Champion, we design new windows specific to your home's needs. Then they are built in our very own factory. Installed by a team of professionals, and guaranteed for a lifetime by our best-in-class warranty. Buy two windows, get two free. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine with Culepta? And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but zero migraine days are possible. Don't take if allergic to Culepta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Culepta, the forget-you-get-migraine medicine. If you've ever grilled, you know you can count on propane to make everything great. But did you know propane also powers school buses that produce lower emissions that lead to higher test scores? Or that propane can cut your energy costs at home? It powers big jobs and small ones too. From hospitals to hospitality, people rely on propane, an energy source that's affordable, plentiful, and environmentally friendly for everyone. Get the facts at propane.com slash now. Give me that. Why do you always get to talk for me? Hi, we've got questions about Medicare plans. Well, we've got a lot of answers. How can I help? Well, for starters, do you have a Medicare plan I can actually afford? How about a plan with a $0 monthly premium? Well, that's a great start. Well, then you'll probably love the dental, vision, and hearing coverage that's included. I hear that. <laughs> We also want a plan that helps us to stay healthy, not just one that covers us when we're sick. Then you'll want to know about plans with $0 preventive screenings, over-the-counter benefits for certain health and wellness products, even fitness benefits. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm looking for. Me too. What other benefits can we get? Well, every plan is different. Let me walk you through all your options so you can pick the right one for you. Don't wait. Call 1-800-ETNA-FOR-YOU to get answers to your questions and pick a plan that's right for you. And let's make healthier happen together. Now that sounds like a plan. Sure <laughs> does. We wanted to be able to enjoy all four seasons. And patio enclosures helped us make that dream come true. The one and all. Here are the three things you need to know to get you ready for your Sunday and the upcoming work week. We are going to remain warm through Tuesday with high temperatures in the lower 80s, and we also are going to remain dry through Tuesday. And our next chance of rain, which comes on Wednesday, will really cool things off for the end of the week. And by next weekend, we will certainly feel a lot more like fall. Now, looking at the high temperature forecast for today, Plenty of sunshine. Highs will likely be in the lower 80s. It wouldn't surprise me if certain parts of the area actually get into the lower 90s because it will be a bit warmer the further west you're located, but in general, very unseasonably warm for today. Tonight, we're going to see more clear skies. Temperatures will remain mild above average lows with much of our area seeing lows around 60. Again, further west you go, it will be a bit milder. Lows in La Crosse will be in the middle 60s. As we go into Monday, very similar conditions, high temperatures in the lower 80s with plenty of sunshine. Now, as we get towards the end of the week, I touched on it just a moment ago, we are going to see below average temperatures, and this includes really the entire central United States. You have to go pretty far west to see the above average temperatures, but it's going to feel a lot more like fall, maybe even like winter, because it is going to be a dramatic shift from what we're seeing right now. And the big reason for that is because we are going to see some rain. Now, we're not expected to see a ton of rainfall, but it will bring that cold front that will cool things off for next weekend. So as we get into Tuesday, if you look off west, we could see some of that rain starting to move in. 
we're not expected to see a ton of rainfall, but the best chance of rain looks to be Wednesday afternoon for southern Wisconsin. And then for the central and northern portions of the state, the best chance of rain will come Thursday afternoon. But southern Wisconsin will likely see rain on Thursday as well, just as central and northern Wisconsin will still likely see rain on Wednesday. But by the time we get to the weekend, it does look like we are going to dry out a bit. But as I mentioned, we're not expected to see a ton of rainfall, maybe about a half inch to up to a full inch of rain as possible. But we can definitely afford a little bit of a break just considering how wet it was uh, towards the uh, beginning of last week and last weekend. So the drought monitor has improved, but we aren't expected to see a ton of rainfall for the foreseeable future. Now here's a look at the seven day forecast for La Crosse. Upper 80s possible today, then middle 80s for Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday is when the rain will start. It actually could start Tuesday night for you in La Crosse, and then the temperatures are going to fall throughout the rest of the week with high temperatures in the 50s for your Saturday. Madison, a little bit a little bit cooler today, but still pretty warm with highs in the lower 80s, 70s Wednesday, 60s Thursday, Friday, 50s over the weekend. And on top of the 50s, we also are going to see some breezy conditions, so there might even be a little bit of a wind chill. So if you do plan on attending the Badgers homecoming game Saturday, definitely bundle up because it's going to be pretty chilly. All right, Jacob, we'll keep an eye out for that. Thank you. The body of late Senator Diane Feinstein is back in California. On Saturday, her casket arrived in San Francisco on a plane from the president's military fleet, accompanied by Representative Nancy Pelosi. Feinstein, who shared a long friendship with Pelosi, died Thursday night following months of declining health. She was 90 years old. In Georgia, the Carter Center celebrated the 39th president's birthday on Saturday at the Presidential Library and Museum ahead of his 99th. The party was moved up a day to ensure it wouldn't be canceled by a potential federal government shutdown that Congress narrowly averted. On Saturday, Carter was honored with the birthday party. He was born on October 1st of 1924. With car thefts at record highs, the computerized systems that make your car so convenient also make it an easier target for thieves who are car hacking instead of car jacking. CBS's Usher Carrie Shea shows us how it works and how you can protect yourself. Or not. We'll, we'll be right back after this. First Warm Weather Team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. With Chevy Silverado and Silverado HD, you can take on the mountains, or you can move them. With the power of up to 36,000 pounds of max available towing and the confidence of an available 13.4-inch diagonal touchscreen, whatever your mountain, there's a Silverado for you. Get 0% financing, plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get $750 cash allowance on this Silverado. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Caleb Williams is transferring to Wendy's for the new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Hold up those crunchy boys and say queso! Queso! It's a nice shot, Mac. You want to get in the next one? Of course. Let's nope, starters only. Oh. Starters only. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new loaded nacho cheeseburger. Teens have drama. One more minute! Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Thanks to Sky Rizzy, I'm on my way with clearer skin. Three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. And Sky Rizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Nothing on my skin means everything. Ask your dermatologist about Sky Rizzy. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. 
My name is Josh Sanabria, and I'm the owner at Isla Veterinary Boutique Hospital. I was five, six years of age, and I knew I was going to be a vet. Once Alexandra called me to let me know that Bank of America had approved my loan, it was important to me. We not only just provide the financing piece, we do everything that we can to surround them with the right people. All you need is a perfect, amazing team that will guide you through the right steps to be successful. And that's what Bank of America was for me. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Let's check out the weather photo of the day again. This is a nice picture of the sky in Verona. This was sent in by Tyler Boy. So thank you, Tyler. And you all could submit your own weather photos either through the app or through email. You can email the address on screen first worn at WISCTV.com. So here's one more look at the rain chances for the upcoming week. Our next chance of rain will be Wednesday. For those of you in La Crosse, it will be a bit earlier, possibly Tuesday night. But we're all overall, it's not expected to be a ton of rainfall, but we could get a brief period of some moderate to heavy rain. But the bigger story is that the rain will really cool things off. Here is a look at the next 10 days temperature wise. 80s through Tuesday and then a sharp decline from Wednesday through Saturday and by the time we get to Saturday we will see high temperatures in the middle 50s and overnight lows could actually drop all the way to the 30s and on top of that we also are going to be a bit breezy so there will even be a little bit of a chill in the air. Thank you. United Auto Workers President Sean Fain joined striking workers on the picket line in Toledo, Ohio yesterday. On Friday, the union expanded its strike against the big three automakers by ordering 7,000 more workers off the job in Illinois and Michigan. The local union in Toledo was the first group of workers who walked off the job two weeks ago. The union is demanding more pay and benefits from General Motors, Ford, and Stellantis. Fain told workers he is escalating the strikes because Ford and GM refused to make meaningful progress in contract talks. A deadly crash occurred in the south central part of Illinois involving a semi truck carrying ammonia. At least five people died in the multi vehicle crash. Several other people suffered injuries. Authorities say the truck was carrying about 7,500 gallons of ammonia. About 4,000 of those gallons leaked. The spill forced about 500 people in the area to evacuate their homes. Officials say there is no time period for when residents will be able to return home. This accident caused a large uh, plume cloud of anhydrous ammonia on the roadway um, that caused uh, terribly dangerous air conditions uh, in the northeast area to topless were evacuated because of it. State environmental workers say the gas leak is partially patched and they are monitoring conditions. The cause of the crash is under investigation. The Midwest experienced some unseasonably warm temperatures yesterday. In Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, some festival goers had to even take refuge from the heat. WCCO's Jason Rontala reports. Just when you thought the dog days of summer were behind us, so hot. comes a day like today. And now it's really warm and humid. At Twin Cities Harvest Festival in May. It's very weird. You know, you can just feel the heavy air, uh, you know, for no reason you're sweating. A rare late September day with July-like temperatures. Festival goers took refuge in shaded areas. It's a little cooler under the shade. And shaded corn pits. It feels good in the shade. They chilled, or tried to at least, with cool drinks like lemonade. So probably we'll sell a lot of those today. It's different, but yeah, it's fun. It doesn't feel like a fall event though, that's for sure. Some wish the weather matched the festivities. Well, I really, really want sweaters and hoodies and hot cocoa and hot cider, but that's not happening today. The corn maze is always a hit with us, but it's kind of hot in there. We're ready for the cooler weather. But those here today are well aware what season comes next. Enjoy the day. We're going to have snow before we know it. It's Minnesota weather for you. In Brooklyn Park, Jason Rantala, WCCO News. The mayor of Marion, Kansas is suspending its chief of police after the police department raided the office of a newspaper in the home of the publisher. Back in August, Marion PD seized computers, cell phones, and other materials from the Marion County record. Law enforcement said it was investigating identity theft and, quote, unlawful acts concerning computers. Mayor David Mayfield confirmed to CNN 
of Chief Gideon Cody's suspension. There is no word yet on how long the suspension would last. Over the last seven days, more than 100 Rever River dolphins have been found dead in Lake Tefe in the Brazilian Amazon. That's according to a research institute in the region. Officials believe a historic drought in the Amazon combined with record high lake temperatures may have caused the deaths. Authorities expect even more acute droughts over the next couple of weeks, which might result in even further deaths of the dolphins. There's still the possibility to limit global warming, plus young people arguing their country's governments violate their human rights. Matt Piper has that in this Climate Watch. Dear Sharp Curves, Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. We got traction, baby. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more from my antidepressant. Braylar helped give it a lift. Adding Vralar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Vralar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults, report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Vralar and learn how AbbVie can help you save. Big trucks can be intimidating, and so can their insurance companies. After a serious truck crash, you need a team on your side who knows how to handle trucking cases and who gets results. You need Gruber Law Offices. We know truck law, we know the rules and regulations, and we'll hold the insurance companies accountable. And there's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Follow the fall colors to the Oakwood Fruit Farm just east of Richland Center. Over 20 varieties of your favorite apples to choose from. We grow and handpick the very best for you. A tradition we've kept in our family farm since 1904. Your family will love our delicious treats. Fresh apple cider, caramel apples, homemade pastries, including our legendary apple cider donuts. You'll want to make Oakwood Fruit Farm part of your fall traditions. Come to the Oakwood Fruit Farm. Visit oakwoodfruitfarm.com. Dear Sharp Curves, Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. We got traction, baby. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Toyota, let's go places. We want to make sure every child in Dane County has a warm coat to wear this winter, and we need your help. Please donate gently used kid-sized winter coats to any clinky cleaners. We'll clean them for free. And Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County would give these to kids in need right here where we live. Don't have a kid's coat to give? Log on to Channel 3000 to make a financial donation. Track our progress on News 3 Now and Magic 98, then donate to Coats for Kids. Right now, a shutdown avoided what lawmakers are saying after the down-to-the-wire vote last night. We have the details. Also, a Madison area group hosting a bike drive for kids yesterday. <clears throat> Community members stepped up to help out. And warm weather is continuing until Tuesday with a chance of rain Wednesday. Jake will track all that in the forecast ahead. Good morning and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Pizorski. We're just a little bit before 7.30 on this Sunday. Let's take a look outside with Jacob Montesano for what's ahead for your day, Jacob. Yeah, we are going to see more warm temperatures and more sunshine. Now, looking at the state capitol right now, we are seeing the skies brighten up a little bit more compared to about an hour ago. We also are seeing just a few clouds out there, but in general, we're not expect to see much today. Current temperature is 60, and if we look throughout the day, we are going to see plenty of clear skies. A few clouds here and there, but 
not expected to see much. So expect full sunshine and obviously expect those warm temperatures. Now looking across the area, we are seeing current temperatures in the 70s for some areas. So pretty uncommon to see 70s this time of the morning, this time of the year. It is the 1st of October, so not we don't usually see 70s in the morning in October, but 70 in the Dells, 71 in La Crosse, 70 up near Winona, lower 60s in the southern portion of the state, but the entire region is expected to get into the 80s throughout the afternoon. For Madison, we'll see plenty of sunshine. Winds will top off at around 10 miles per hour. In La Crosse, it will even it'll be even warmer with highs in the upper 80s with more sunshine and winds once again topping off at around 10 miles per hour. But we are going to see some rain that will dramatically change things for the end of the week. I'll talk more in detail about that coming up a little bit later. Thank you, Jacob. A down to the wire deal in Washington will keep the federal government open at least temporarily. A stopgap bill passed by both the House and Senate with bipartisan support was signed last night by President Biden. Bradley Blackburn has more on how the deal came together. The bill is passed and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. A government shutdown that seemed all but certain was narrowly avoided Saturday. A bipartisan federal spending plan will keep the government funded at current levels for 45 days. It's been a day full of twists and turns, but the American people can breathe a sigh of relief. There will be no government shutdown. President Biden signed the bill just before a midnight deadline when federal agencies could have been forced to close and critical employees and members of the military asked to work without pay. We went from devastating cuts that would have impacted the health, the safety, and the economic well-being of the American people in 24 hours to a spending agreement that meets the needs of the American people. On the House to reach floor, a deal, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy yes, turned to Democrats after he couldn't secure support from hard-right members of his own party. But the funding fight will now continue. I ask Congress will stay in session the next two weeks, continue to work to get this done. The plan does not include additional aid to Ukraine, a priority for the White House that growing numbers of GOP lawmakers oppose. I'm confident the Senate will pass further urgent assistance to Ukraine later this year. The deal funds the government until November 17th. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. In a statement, President Biden said the deal is good news for the American people, but he urged Congress to approve additional support for Ukraine. Happening today, hundreds of walkers will show their support to end Alzheimer's. The Walk to End Alzheimer's opens at 8.30, but the walk doesn't start until 10.15, so you still have time to get out there and participate. It's all happening at Warner Park in Madison. Their goal is to raise funds to support and care research efforts at the Alzheimer's Association. On to our next story now. Also today, the Ride for Your Life is set to take place in Madison. It is being held in memory of the tragic death of Saren Langenkamp, as well as countless other cyclists and pedestrians killed by drivers. Bicyclists will ride five to six miles at a slow pace, and pedestrians will walk one mile through Madison to the steps of the state capitol. The ride staging begins at 2 p.m. at Brighton Park, and riders will depart at 2.30. More local news now. Free Bikes for Kids hosted their first bike donation drive of the season on Saturday, all in an effort to get more bikes and keep Madison kids riding. Yesterday's donation drive collected bikes with plans to refurbish them during the winter. In the spring, they are donated to families who don't always have the opportunity to own and enjoy all the benefits of a bicycle. The goal was to collect 400 donated bikes, allowing all sizes and styles to be accepted. Organizers say it's all about making sure the kids are able to get out and have some fun. We're so excited to see these beautiful high-end bikes coming in because our recipients, they rely on these bikes for their transportation. And um, so, so it's really awesome to see. Free Bikes for Kids is hosting another donation drive on Saturday, November 4th, if you're looking to give back to the community. If you can't make it then, just head to their website, which is fb4kmadison.org to find more ways to help. Looking ahead now, this Wednesday, FEMA and the FCC will be conducting a nationwide emergency alert test. It will take place around 1.20 p.m. All cell phones will receive an alert as well as radio and TV stations will push out the same style alert. They say this is done to make sure their systems continue to be effective means of warning the public about emergencies. 
The backup test date is October 11th. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin is expected to make his season debut today against the Miami Dolphins. He had been inactive for the first few games of the season. If Hamlin gets into the game, it will be his first regular season action since going into cardiac arrest during a game against the Cincinnati Bengals last January. Doctors cleared Hamlin to resume football activities last April. He participated in team drills in June, competed in training camp in August, and played during the preseason. No one matched all six numbers in Saturday's Powerball drawing, so now the jackpot is estimated to be up to $1.04 billion. That would be the second largest jackpot this year, topped only by a $1.08 billion prize, one on January, July 19th, rather, excuse me. The lottery says two tickets did match enough numbers to score winnings of $2 million and five tickets won $1 million. The next drawing will be tomorrow night. Coming up next on Week of Mornings, Jacob will check in with another look at your forecast, plus a new health conversation with Shane. Stick with us. been together for so long. Now it could be the end. Fortunately, you took your six sewing machine to the Electric Needle. They have the skills to fix most machines within seven to ten days. Find sewing success at the Electric Needle on the frontage road of Seminole Highway. Meetings in 20. I'm fine. I'll follow the GPS. Turn left here. Oh, can't be. Proceed along the route. Are you certain? Turn right. Are you for imprint certain? Arrived. Certainty matters, like the certainty of ordering items from the promotional product professionals at 4 Imprint. Arrives! To show your appreciation to clients, coworkers, and customers, make your destination 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. My name is Kyla Engelke. I'm a cement mason by trade. All the road builders are insanely busy right now. If someone comes in wanting or needing a job, we've got them. The infrastructure law that Joe Biden got passed is putting people back to work. Look at all of the bridges, look at all of the roadways, look at all of the people that are working. Oh, that's pretty awesome. To have a president like Joe Biden that's fighting for good jobs, it's huge. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Teens have drama. One more minute! Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. My name is Josh Sanabria, and I'm the owner at Isla Veterinary Boutique Hospital. I was five, six years of age, and I knew I was going to be a vet. Once Alexandra called me to let me know that Bank of America had approved my loan, it was important to me. We not only just provide the financing piece, we do everything that we can to surround them with the right people. All you need is a perfect, amazing team that will guide you through the right steps to be successful. And that's what Bank of America was for me. Why didn't we do this last year? Before you were preventing migraine with Kulipta? And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but zero migraine days are possible. Don't take if allergic to Kulipta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Kulipta, the forget you get migraine medicine. We've got questions about Medicare plans. Well, we've got a lot of answers. How can I help? Well, for starters, do you have a Medicare plan I can actually afford? How about a plan with a $0 monthly premium? Well, that's a great start. What other benefits can we get? Things like dental, vision, and hearing. But let me help you pick the plan that's right for you. <laughs> Don't wait. Call 1-800-ETNA-FOR-YOU to get answers to your questions and pick a plan that's right for you. And let's make healthier happen together. Congratulations! It's a new sewing machine from the Electric Needle. It's more accurate than older models and has hassle-free threading. Plus, it comes with free unlimited owner's lessons. Find sewing success at the Electric Needle. Frontage Road off Seminole Highway. Here's a look at the current radar across the United States. Pretty dry, especially in the central and eastern half of the U.S. There are some showers and already a few upper elevation snowfall 
out near the Rockies. Now, looking at future track across the United States, we are going to see that system that will bring rain to our area impact the central portion of the United States as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Now, as we get into Wednesday, we are going to see that system push off to the east, but in general, not expect to see a ton of widespread rainfall across the United States for this week. And looking at the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook, kind of looking beyond the rain chance we're going to see on Wednesday. We are expected to be pretty dry here in Wisconsin, but the driest conditions will be in the northern Great Plains and in the northern portions of the Rockies. So in general, not expect to see a ton of rainfall across the United States and I'll have more details about our rain chances coming up in just a little bit. In this morning's health conversation, our Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Rupa Shaw to talk about ways to stay healthy this cold and flu season. Our well, cold and flu season has officially arrived. SSM Health family medicine physician and wellness coach Dr. Rupa Shaw is here to talk about how you can keep yourself and your family protected this year. So Dr. Shaw, what are some of the most common upper respiratory illnesses that occur this time of year? I mean, obviously flu season is big, but that's yeah. not the only one people are dealing with. Right. We're going to see a lot of just what we call the common cold virus, uh, things like adenovirus, rhinovirus. You're not going to know exactly which one you have, but you're going to know because you're going to get the runny nose, mm -hmm. the congestion, um, maybe a little mild cough. Um, so that's really common. But then, of course, you have the flu. Now, with the flu, you're going to feel a little bit ill. Yeah. You're going to have fever, the body aches, the, the chills, um, the cough. You may have some, you know, diarrhea. So you're going to feel a little bit more ill with the flu, and that's kind of how you know that it's not just maybe a common cold virus. Sure. Um, there is obviously a lot of overlap with COVID-19 mm -hmm. and the flu. That makes it difficult. Lots of overlap with symptoms, fever, chills, body aches. Of course, with COVID, you may lose your sense of smell or taste. That could help differentiate it. Right. But with both, you can get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So the best thing is to kind of get tested and, and see which one you sure, have. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. you, you know, just trying to be aware of what you have, how contagious those things are. Yeah, it's yep. it's, it's tough this time of year when all of those things all are All of these things are going to converge all together. We're going right. to have RSV also in the mix. Right. So there's just going to be a hodgepodge of different yeah, respiratory viruses. Proactive for sure. So yeah. Dr. Shaw, what should people do to stay healthy or protect against flu this year? You know, I mean, flu shots are a big reason, but yeah. what else can people do? Yeah, so this might be one time a year, again, where we might want to pull out your masks for a little bit, mm. especially if you're going to be in um, an environment with lots of people indoors and closed. You know, if you really do want to protect yourself, there's going to be a lot of viruses. You may want to wear a mask. Um, good hand washing, of yeah. course, as always, right? right? Um, and if you're sick, stay home. Don't expose other people. If you're not feeling well, you're under the weather, your throat is starting to get scratchy, this is a time you could be most infectious. Stay home from work or school um, so as to not infect everybody yeah. else around you. And definitely, like you mentioned, get your flu shot. Yeah, and yeah. just because it's COVID doesn't mean it's not contagious, you know? I mean, those right. other things spread as well. Oh, absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Now, speaking of the flu shot, who should get it and when? Yes, so anybody over the age of six months, um, and if you don't have an allergy to the flu shot itself, get the flu shot. Okay. Um, it builds, uh, it takes about two weeks to build that immunity. So try and plan ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Usually we'll start seeing flu peak around uh, January, February, but we'll start seeing cases in November. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to plan ahead. Um, so now is probably about the best time sure. to get that. Also try and get the uh, COVID booster um, as well. That's going to be really and protective can you get well, them so. at the same time? Um, you can, yeah. yes, you definitely can. Uh, if you're up for that, yeah. <laughs> um, you're going to probably have, uh, you know, you could have a few side effects from the vaccine itself, sure. but you could just get it over with all yeah. in one day as well. So, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. Where else can you're people welcome. find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right. Thank you as always. Still ahead, Andrew checks in with Saturday's news and sports. And let's take another live look outside. There's the Capitol building. Jacob has your full forecast just ahead on weekend mornings.
sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Dear Freedom, here's to more miles driven, more dollars saved, and more electrified vehicles than any other brand. Yours, Toyota Hybrids. Toyota, let's go places. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA, like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawon'twait.com. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $6,500 off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio Enclosures. It's here. Wisconsin's newest and most exclusive sports show. Wisconsin Huddle. It's more than just highlights. It's more than X's and O's. It's a dynamic 30-minute weekly special produced for the die-hard fans of Wisconsin Athletics. Embark on an exclusive journey into the lives of some of UW's top athletes as we offer an inside look into their world. Watch Wisconsin Huddle Friday nights at 6.30. Brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. I'm attorney David Gruber. For over 35 years, Gruber Law Offices has had one goal, to provide top-notch legal services to this incredible community. We appreciate and value our clients. We've helped tens of thousands of injured people get the care they needed and results they deserve. Gruber Law Offices. One call. One call. One call. One call. One call. That's all. Dear Freedom, here's to more miles driven, more dollars saved, and more electrified vehicles than any other brand. Yours, Toyota Hybrids. Toyota, let's go places. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Here are the three things you need to know to get you ready for your Sunday and the upcoming work week. We are going to remain warm through Tuesday with high temperatures likely going to be in the 80s once again. We also are going to remain dry through, th through Tuesday. Our next chance of rain will be on Wednesday and that will dramatically cool things off for the end of next week or for the end of this week into next weekend. So it's going to feel a lot more like fall by the time we get to this next Saturday. Now for today we will see plenty of sunshine and it is going to be pretty warm. Highs will be in the lower to middle 80s. Places near Iowa, it wouldn't surprise me if we do see a few temperature readings in the lower 90s during the afternoon. So very unseasonably warm. And during the overnight hours, we are going to remain unseasonably warm. We will see low temperatures right around 60. Average low this time of year is around 50. And areas near La Crosse may see lows in the middle in the middle 60s. Excuse me. And then for tomorrow, we are going to see more warm temperatures, plenty of sunshine, highs once again in the lower to middle 80s, maybe ever so slightly cooler, but for the most part today and tomorrow are going to be very similar. But as we get towards the end of the week, I touched on this just a moment ago, we are going to see below average temperatures, not just for Wisconsin, but a lot of the central portion of the United States with uh, the exception of the far western half of the US, most of the United States will actually be below average towards the end of this week and beginning of next week. Now the big reason for that, there's going to be a cold front that moves through our area and possibly bring some rainfall. So as we get into Tuesday, if we look off to the west, 
west, we are going to see some of that rain begin to develop and it will move into our area late Tuesday into early Wednesday. The best chance of rain for southern Wisconsin will be Wednesday afternoon, but the central and northern portions of the state could definitely see some rain during that time as well. And then we'll have a secondary system move in on Thursday, and this will bring more rain to the central and northern portion of the state, but the southern portion of the state will also see some rain during that time, and we could continue to see some showers, maybe even a few storms linger into the day on Friday. But by the time we get to the weekend, we are going to see dry conditions once again. As far as total rainfall goes, we aren't expected to see that much. We'll see maybe up to a half inch, possibly a full inch of rainfall. But with the rain we saw earlier last week and last weekend, we definitely could use a little bit of a break with the rainfall. But in general, we aren't expected to see a whole lot of rain for the foreseeable future. So here's the seven day forecast for lacrosse 80s through Tuesday, and then Tuesday night will be the beginning of the rainfall with a chance of storms Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see more rain with a slight chance of rain on Friday 50s as we get into the weekend. Madison will be pretty similar, not expected to get to the upper 80s for the next couple of days, whereas lacrosse could, but then we are going to see that rain on Wednesday. It looks like Wednesday there's a chance for storms, but by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, we will mostly see just showers and similar to lacrosse. We are going to see those 50s over the weekend and we also could be breezy, so it may feel even cooler than what it actually is. For the fifth time in six years, the Brewers are headed to the postseason. But until last night, we didn't know exactly who they'd be playing in next week's three-game NL wildcard series. But now we have a better idea. The Cubs and the Reds were eliminated last night, meaning Milwaukee either hosts the Diamondbacks or the Marlins next week. Even if this game was meaningless, it was very exciting. Cubs led 6-0 in the first inning, but the crew scored five rapid runs. And then here in the bottom of the second inning, Carlos Santana hits a solo shot to tie it up at six. But Chicago would strike right back. Fourth inning, tied at six apiece, and Ian Happ sting one through the five and a half hole. That would give Chicago the lead. The Cubs would go on to win it 10 to six. Despite being eliminated, the crew will play game 162 today. What a week it's been in Wisconsin sports. Let's start with the Bucks, who shocked the NBA world on Wednesday when they traded for Damian Lillard, creating arguably the best duo in the NBA right there in Milwaukee. Yesterday, the Bucks held a welcome party for Damian Lillard, a scene that looked more like a championship parade. Lillard, who's one of the NBA's most electric offensive players, brings a running mate unlike any Giannis Antetokounmpo has had to this point. That's boosted the Bucks to the betting favorite for next year's NBA title. To the WEAC for some local football, where fourth-ranked UW-Whitewater opened their WEAC slate on the road against UW Oshkosh yesterday. Whitewater rode a rigid rush game to a 23-0 halftime lead and never looked back. Tamir Thomas would rush for 117 yards as the Warhawks won 37-21. Elsewhere in the WEAC, Platteville, who are just outside the top 25 nationally, traveled to sixth-ranked UW River Falls. The Pioneers made it close. They trailed by just five points entering the fourth quarter, but River Falls came out on top. It was a brilliant day in the air for Platteville. The Stair brothers both had fantastic days, but the Falcons would win it 27-16. That's your morning sports fix. Have a fantastic day. Thank you, Andrew. Coming up next, cheesing it up in Madison. A look at yesterday's cheese fair off the square. That's next in this Gouda Sunday. We're back in a moment. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Why didn't we do this last year? 
before you were preventing migraine with Culepta? Remember the pain? Cancel plans? The worry? That was then. And look at me now. You'll never truly forget migraine, but Culepta reduces attacks, making zero migraine days possible. It's the only pill of its kind that blocks CGRP and is approved to prevent migraine of any frequency to help give you that forget-you-get-migraine feeling. Don't take if allergic to Culepta. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and sleepiness. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Culepta, the forget-you-get-migraine medicine. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. My name is Josh Sanabria, and I'm the owner at Isla Veterinary Boutique Hospital. I was five, six years of age, and I knew I was going to be a vet. Once Alexandra called me to let me know that Bank of America had approved my loan, it was important to me. We not only just provide the financing piece, we do everything that we can to surround them with the right people. All you need is a perfect, amazing team that will guide you through the right steps to be successful, and that's what Bank of America was for me. Thursday at 10. Artificial intelligence has entered the classroom. I saw it in poems and stories, and I thought, oh, I know that human, and that's not their human thoughts. I'll show you what teachers are doing to curb AI misuse, and how a change in thinking could turn this tool into a valuable part of classroom learning. I think there's possibility, and we don't just have to be on the defense. Outsmarting AI, an eye on education report. Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. Finally this morning, what is more Wisconsin than cheese? On Saturday, people gathered in Madison for Cheese Fair off the square. As a part of the Art of Cheese Festival, Wisconsinites were able to purchase and bask in a vast outdoor market of cheese with sellers from around the state offering up award-winning cheese. It's really important to us that consumers from all across the globe know that Wisconsin truly is the state of cheese. 90% of Wisconsin milk goes to making cheese, so it is a huge industry for us and for the state and for the farm families here. The state of cheese, oh rather, I mean the state of Wisconsin makes half of the nation's specialty cheese. Saturday's fun not only featured the Wisconsin staple, but it was also a all free to the public. Uh, Jacob Montesano, are we going to have a Gouda forecast ahead of us? I mean, I would say yeah, because you're going to get a little bit of everything over the next 10 days. Let's take a look at the 10 day forecast. Lacrosse, we are going to see highs in the upper 80s today and then middle 80s for Monday, Tuesday before things really cool off by the end of the week. We'll see highs only in the 50s on Saturday and it does look like outside that rain chance Wednesday, Thursday, we aren't going to see a ton of rain for the foreseeable future and even that rain chance for the middle of the week isn't expected to be all that much. We will see the rain move in Tuesday night for lacrosse and impact Wednesday, Thursday, and then some lingering showers Friday. For Madison, we will see more highs in the 80s, but we will likely stay in the lower 80s for Monday, Tuesday, and then we'll see that rain chance Wednesday. It does look like the best chance for storms will be Wednesday, but then Thursday we will only see some showers, some lingering rain as possible Friday, and then we will continue to see the temperatures drop for the weekend with high or with highs only in the 50s. And take a look at that low Saturday night. We may even drop all the way to the upper 30s and on top of the cooler temperatures we are also going to be breezy so it may feel even cooler than what it actually is and the Badgers homecoming game is Saturday so bundle up if you plan on going to that game because it's definitely going to be pretty chilly I believe the game starts at 11 I could be wrong on that but in general it's going to be chilly throughout the entire day with more 50s and a slow warm-up by the time we get to Tuesday thank you Jacob thank you all for watching have a great Sunday folks